in this last part, I want to show you how to print scorecards and how to finalize your event because, quite frankly, we've done most of the hard work already. We've set up tee times, we set the course up, we set the tournaments up. Now it's just the final processes. To print scorecards, it's under rounds. And if you kind of go down here underneath tournaments, you'll see print scorecards. Now, the nice thing about Golf Genius is that, you know, there's already a preset scorecards here for you, but you can also make your own scorecards. So, for instance, I, here's a one-player scorecard where, you know, everybody has their own scorecard. They pass it. There's a four-player scorecard where everybody's name's on the card, and there's a whole bunch here you can sort through. You can find the ones you want. Some have, you know, golf GGIDs and whatnot, but the two you'll use the most are these mid-pen league match four players and the mid-pen scorecard one player. All right, so for this event, I'm going to use the one player. I'm going to click on print. This box will pop up for margins. You just hit next. It's going to ask for the tournament. Now you'll see these tournaments. I always choose user defined. It's always at the bottom. It always works. We're going to click print scorecards. It will generate the scorecards for us. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us these scorecards in a PDF file. You can open the PDF file, you can send them to your printer. I typically will print them on cardstock. Once they're printed, I'll take them to a paper cutter and then just cut them in half. So when you click on download PDF, this will pop up. And you'll notice it has Holiday's lo Holidaysburg's logo on it, the PIAA logo. It'll have the player's name, the school. Under, down at the bottom, we have the marker signature, the player signature. I have created so it would have the person's name here so the names don't get messed up. You know, the match events, the events details will be up here. It's just a long title. Otherwise, this would be a lot cleaner. But like I said, you could simply print this out and you wouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So the match takes place. All right, people enter scores. How do you verify scores? Because Golf Genius is not the official scorecard. The player scorecard is the scorecard. And sometimes when people are putting these numbers in for their scores, they have fat fingers, they, they want to hit four and accidentally hit seven, or they juxtapose two scores. Well, how do you fix that? Well, it's under Rounds, Enter Scores. So when Enter Scores pops up, you'll see all the groups here. And what I'm going to do for this, just for demonstrations purposes, I'm going to click down here on random scores, and it will add just a whole bunch of random scores in here. It basically simulates the event, all right? So you can see, you know, allow us to view and edit the scorecards or test the leaderboard. Um, it's just, a, just for this purpose as it works out well. So when they're done, it'll say all holes completed. And usually they come, the students will come to the scores table and... You would sit across from them, you sit across from them, and say, "All right, Michael, read your scorecard. Whoever kept Michael's scorecard, check it. They'd read it across. If the numbers are messed up, so for instance, on the first hole, if Michael had a four instead of a five, you just type it over top of. If it changes it, it adds it all for you, and you just double check everything. Now, because we simulated this, we're not getting a box here. There'll be a box right above clear scores and done." that will say mark scorecard complete and disable mobile scoring. You'd want to click that box. It's literally right here and hit done. So that way it wouldn't allow a person to go in and change their scores on the back end. All right, it's imperative you do that. This will change from all holes completed to scorecard checked. When you're done, you'll hit done entering scores and under round status, Right here, instead of in progress, you need to change it to completed. All right, it will complete the tournament, it will finalize everything, and that way you can have you know, your final settings. All right, so I'm just going to hit completed. I'm sure it's going to say, you know, it's going to disable. You know, you still have to, able to hit OK. I'm just going to do it for demonstration purposes. You can always go back and change this if you bump it by accident. But I want to show you this last part because... If you need to send scores to the newspaper or you need to send scores, um, you know, a nice sortable way to, if you want to sort the scores by school or anything like that, if you go back into rounds and display leaderboard, 
it will say rescore print adjust display leaderboard I want to print it so I'm going to click on this and I like to ex export the leaderboard as an Excel spreadsheet and you'll see why here in a minute um, I don't want points I just want the results when I export this then I can sort it by school because it's going to give me the leaderboard by score so if you need to put this into another spreadsheet or a record keeping spreadsheet it makes it very very easy to sort and very you can very quickly you can see right here this should open hopefully in Excel for me after there there we go so I want to enable editing and you can like I said if you want to you can now you know data sort and I want to sort by the empty field, which is the schools. And there you go. So all the Altoona scores are now together, all the Central Dolphin, Holidaysburg schools. And you can get rid of columns if you want. Like, say, if I want to know Adam shot 85, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Rough day for Braden, who shot 101. Okay? So that's just a nice tutorial here from start to finish on how to set up an event so that way you can do your use your rounds print scorecards pretty user friendly and then if you always if you have any questions just reach out to me I'll be more than happy to answer them for you good luck and I hope you enjoy this program